is that Patrick Air Force Base knew that their boat was in trouble and was on fire. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So those of you who know, my brother would know this, my brother Tom, um, what this is. This is a, some kind of a fixed wing airplane or something. I don't know if it can hover. It's an HC-130P slash N King. That's what they call this aircraft. Okay. They take this out the 500 miles. Uh, the combat rescue team, six guardian angel airmen mm-hmm. who specialize in rescues, um, para, para rescue jump into the water. Wow. They're able to put the two men into a lifeboat. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. lifeboat is then hoisted to the aircraft. They were Both men were taken to Orlando Regional Medical Center. One of the men had severe burns covering 30% of his body, but guess what? They're both okay. They would not even be alive. They no, oh, Isn't that just an amazing story? That's an amazing story. And how did their um, equipment reach 500 miles for a distress call? That's pretty amazing, too. Wow. I'm just... I'm just uh, this whole story is, thank God for the USA. It's just a, a, Gosh. This is a number of reasons to be amazed at that story. Yeah, I this think. is so amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning, Larry and Robin. Hiya, Frank. You know the worst part of him running is he'll get elected. That's just <laughs> what we need, another lawyer politician. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> right? That's it. Yeah, I mean, can you name somebody you know better than him? I mean, he, everybody's heard of him. Everybody's heard of him, and, and and we keep hearing about him because he's he's putting himself in the, in the news. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how confident he is of being reelected. Yeah. I mean, getting elected. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. <laughs> Unfortunately, it will happen. Thank you, Larry and Robin. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got a name and money. There you so go. So if, you, if your job is to recover golf balls from lakes on golf courses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This, okay, this guy goes uh, looking for golf ball. That's his job. Yeah. He's a scuba diver, and he works for several different golf courses. Uh, his name is Scott Lahodic. Thank goodness he's okay. But he went into one of the ponds in at the Rotunda Golf and Country Club in Palms Course on Friday. And there was an alligator living in that lake. And I guess it was known that everybody uh-huh. knows there's an alligator in that lake. Mm-hmm. Well, not anymore because it bit the guy. Oh, he's okay. He's he had to be taken to the hospital, but he's okay. Thank the, God. The gator, not so good. Mm-hmm. They had a they euthanized the gator. Yeah, <laughs> Isn't that, it's an amazing story. Yeah, if they knew he was there, they should have relocated him to the swamp. All right, let's uh, take a little break, and we will be right back. You're listening to the Source W O C A Ocala. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accidents. On this Monday, partly sunny with a thunderstorm or two in the area, mainly during the afternoon hours, high 89 to 93. It cleared a partly cloudy Monday night. There may be a late night shower along the coast, low 73 and then 79 on the coast. Tuesday, partly sunny with a thunderstorm around from late morning on, the high 89 to 93. On Wednesday, partly sunny with an afternoon thunderstorm, high 89 to 93. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Although relationships do take work, it should not be the job of just one person to keep it afloat. Kickboxing provides a cardio workout that engages every muscle group in the body. It regulates our blood pressure, reducing feelings of anger. Most of us skip taking naps because we think they're a sign of laziness, but many studies have found that napping for as little as 10 minutes a day is proven to boost memory, creativity, and learning. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies. Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. From serving our country to serving our community. Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Residential and commercial. And now, three rooms for just $99. Check their website, silverbackrestoration.com. 
If you or a loved one is suffering with knee, shoulder, neck, back pain, or tennis elbow, and would like to learn how to get out of pain, go to Regenetic.com. Then listen in on the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. to the people that give you the regenerative medical solutions to your pain. Regenetic, first and third Thursdays, 10 a.m. here on WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370 a.m. The Source, Regenetic.com. All right, uh, 12 minutes before 8 o'clock, 75 degrees, 91 the expected high. There's a 90% chance we'll see rain most likely this afternoon. But right now it looks beautiful out there. It's Monday, and I guess we're all back in the saddle, huh? Yes. Not not with the kids, though. The kids are uh, off until in another month or so. They got another month of summer vacation. Yep, unless they have summer school, and they, you know, and and, and summer school is a good thing. Sometimes it's makeup, or, or for other students, it's to get more credits to graduate and you know dual enrollment in college and things so summer school is a good thing uh let's see the vatican last month outlawed gluten-free bread for holy communion because there needs to be enough protein in the wheat to make it without additives oh now we have gluten-free wafers at uh, saint john lutheran church for those that you know have that particular diet requirements so this is pretty interesting uh cardinal robert sarah of the vatican's congregation <laughs> for divine worship and the discipline of the sacraments wrote the diocesan bishops at the request of pope francis to ensure the bread was being prepared correctly and to remove any doubt that the validity of the matter of the eucharist hosts here's the quote from the vatican hosts that are completely gluten-free are invalid matter for the celebration of the Eucharist. Low gluten hosts, partially gluten free, are valid matter provided they contain a sufficient amount of gluten to obtain the confection of bread without the addition of foreign materials and without the use of procedures that would alter the nature of bread. Unquote. Wow. It's over my head. Wow. What does that even mean? That means people won't be taking the wafer during communion then. If- Roman if gluten's in there. Roman Catholics believe wine and bread served at the Eucharist are converted into the body and blood of Christ through a process known as transubstantiation. Transubstantiation, is that right? Uh, the wine must also be natural from the fruit of the grape, pure and incorrupt, not mixed with other substances. There are about 1.2 billion Catholics around the world. I will have to abide by that now. Wow. Well, they're not going to because they don't want to get sick, so they'll just not take the bread at all then. Gosh. I guess. I don't know. Isn't that something? I don't know. Wow. Um, Let's see. What else? Vice President Mike Pence was at Cape Kennedy. Cape Canaveral, I'm sorry. Oh. Kennedy Space Center. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh, There was a piece of NASA hardware (laughs) marked critical space hardware do not touch he touched it there's a photograph of him touching it oh well he's on my side i love touching things huh (laughs) so what happened so he was criticized for touching something that said do not touch (laughs) to which he replied marco rubio dared me to do it oh there you go when Uh, are you 17 again and then uh (laughs) and then marco rubio responded this was all on, on twitter in, mm-hmm. in fairness, I warned the vice president, you break it, you own it. Oh, jeez, you're 12. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> the vice president also joked that it's probably not the first time he's put his hand in the wrong place. <laughs> there you go. That can be taken a few different ways. Well, good for him. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. The Rob Kardashian versus Black China ugliness. Okay, the whatever that Rob is. Rob Kardashian versus Black China ugliness moves into court today, according to Lisa Bloom, China's new lawyer known for representing Kathy Griffin and accusers of Donald Trump. Bloom, hmm. Bloom said in a statement Friday that she'll seek restraining orders to require Mr. Kardashian to behave like a grown up toward the mother of his baby. Kardashian attacked his ex fiance by posting graphic nude photos of her on social media to punish her for allegedly cheating on him. Okay. Wow, that's in the news. Gosh. 
That sounds like a National Ge- uh, National Enquirer kind of a story. Yeah. Well, you know, the Kardashians aren't hot topics anymore since, it, you know, Bruce Jenner became the woman. Then all of a sudden everything was done. So they got to do something to be back in the news. Education officials plan to hold a hearing today in Washington, D.C. on new rulemaking announced by Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos that could undo a pair of Obama administration regulations designed to protect students who attended career preparation programs at for-profit colleges. The Trump administration said it plans to revise two Department of Education regulations aimed at helping borrowers who say they were misled by colleges that are for profit. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is uh, next story is about a band named Radiohead. Are you familiar with Radiohead? Oh, okay. That's from way back, right? Sort of, kind of, yeah, yeah. There's another group called Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions. This okay. is not a band. This is a political group called Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions. They, okay. They go by the initials BDS. Okay. Anyway, they are an anti-Israel group, and they are calling for the band Radiohead to cancel their show in Tel Aviv, Israel, scheduled for July 19th. Oh, gee. So the group BDS, the anti-Israel group, got an unofficial response mm-hmm. Uh, from the band Frontman, the band Frontman is Tom York. Mm-hmm. Um, he tweeted a photo of his hand with the middle finger sticking up. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the news. Okay. <laughs> well, it's on the lighter oh, side. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Hey, good news, kids. BDS anti-Israel I, group, you're I out of here. I haven't found one yet that disgusts me. These are just weird news stars. Yeah. Um, President Donald Trump started his meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin by bluntly confronting him on the issue of M- Moscow's meddling in the presidential election in the United States. Mm-hmm. First thing he said to Putin, Trump said, I'm going to get this out of the way. Did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> I saw your picture. <laughs> did you do this? Did, did you do this? <laughs> You're right there, Scripps. Suppose you come home and your dog did something on the floor. <laughs> did you do this? <laughs> the dog puts his ears back. What? Yeah. I think I did. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, according to the uh, New York Times, Trump's own staff was not even sure how he was going to handle the issue when he spoke with Putin. The details of what exactly was said in the meeting has been a matter of much controversy. Did you do this? Well, good for Trump. Don't beat around the bush. Just, you know, ask the question. Did you do this? That's right. Just ask the question. I wonder how it was translated. <laughs> good, morning. good morning. You're on the air. Hey again, Larry and Robin. <laughs> that made me laugh. And sometimes, Larry, I find out the, the most... The easiest way to find out uh, what you want to know is ask the question. That's right. Like, I just gave a ride to a young lady uh, that was on the west side and lived on the east side. She was on the west side messed up from junk. She don't even know how she got there. <laughs> wow. She, she, well, uh, she uh, uh, originally from Thailand and went to Boston, Massachusetts, and then down here. Wow. And she discovered junk in Boston. Wow. Wow. What, well, what now how did I know all that? I asked her the question. You must she have says, asked. you sure do ask a lot of questions. I said, I write stories. How are you going to know if you don't ask questions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Thank God. you, Lane Robin. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, what a story. Nice. Went from Thailand yeah. to Boston. Yeah. Got some junk, who then was on the west side of Ocala. Exactly. Heading to the east side. <laughs> our, we, remember we had the story the other day about... Chocolate powder that was designed to be snorted. Yeah, cocoa something. Loco cocoa. Loco. That's yes, it. cocoa loco. Okay. Yes. <sighs> Senator Charles Schumer is urging federal regulators to look into snortable chocolate powder, <laughs> saying he's worried that it could prove harmful and is being marketed like a drug. Uh, where has he been? I it mean, is being is... marketed like a drug. 
Well, I know, but where has he been? This is old news. Well, he's an old man, Robin. <laughs> In a letter Saturday, the New York Democrat asked the Food and Drug Administration to investigate the use of caffeine in inhalable food products such as Coco Loco. <laughs> Schumer, the Senate Minority Leader, says there are too many unanswered questions. He's a few days late. <laughs> Do you know you know the expression brown nose? Yes, I do very well. If, well. if you're snorting chocolate, uh huh, do you not end up with a brown nose? Certainly do. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to find it a way to well, unless it's white chocolate. Now they're going to have to package it as white chocolate. Now that way they won't have the brown nose. I used to like white chocolate. Mm-hmm. Used to. Don't even... I think regular chocolate is better. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, Arkansas, the state of Arkansas, will reinstall a Ten Commandments monument after the original was destroyed in late June. The six-foot-tall granite statue will go up on the grounds of the Arkansas State Capitol in Little Rock. The original uh, was destroyed one day after it was installed Mm-mm-mm-mm. when Michael T. Reed the second smashed a car into the stone. Oh, my God. Um, a, st- a statement from Secretary of State and Capitol Police spokesman Chris Powell says, quote, this was deliberate. The individual drove down there and stopped. He was videoing it on his cell phone as he accelerated into the <laughs> monument. One of our Capitol Police officers was on patrol and witnessed it. Unquote. Since the monument was destroyed, $55,000 in private donations have been raised to get it replaced. Wow. Um, an independent Christian film studio donated $25,000. Gosh. Wow. Well, wow. There, well, there you go. All right, let's take a, a break. We'll be right back. Galen, you know this up next. There's a couple of sports stories I wanted to uh, get his thoughts on. And then there was this other topic that I thought he would appreciate. It's... Uh, Healthy road trip snacks. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) We'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Paul Stevens. The president's eldest son, Donald Trump Jr., issuing a statement responding to claims that he and other Trump campaign aides met a lawyer with ties to Russia during the campaign. It reads in part, the woman stated that she had information that individuals connected to Russia were funding the Democratic National Committee and supporting Ms. Clinton. The statement goes on to read, her statements were vague ambiguous and made no sense. Fox's Kevin Cork at the White House. Just back from the G20 summit, President Trump heading back to Europe later on this week to France on Friday. President Trump accepted an invitation from French President Emmanuel Macron to join him for Bastille Day. The two leaders will review a traditional military parade on the Champs-Élysées, which this year will mark the 100th anniversary of the entry of the U.S. into World War I. Fox's John Decker. Fox News. We report. You decide. Unexpected reactions to smart financial decisions brought to you by FeedThePig.org. Well, I finally did it. My student loan is totally paid off. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. I paid more than the minimum each month, and soon enough, it was gone. So you're just giving up? Giving up on what? The life of luxury. Egyptian cotton, caviar Thursdays, designer everything. What are you talking about? Our plan. What happened to winning the lottery and mastering the art of the perfect mimosa? Hosting galas, wearing enough jewelry to require a bodyguard, vacationing in the French Riviera, and then buying it. I just thought maybe it was time to prepare for my future. You know, set some financial goals, make some smart investments, open a 401k. Financial goals? Investments? A 401k? You are horrified right now. Listen, if winning the lottery were easy, everyone would do it. When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. 
Hi, this is JP from Pen Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Pen Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Pen Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a hurricane or tornado, official messages would have followed the alert tones. WOCA serves the Marion County area. This concludes the test of the emergency alert system. Pay your taxes, eat your vegetables, watch your weight, mow the lawn, clean the house. We all have stuff we don't want to do. Isn't it about time you did something you wanted to do? Like getting your pilot's license? At Ocala Aviation, they make it fun and easy, and you can start by taking one of their discovery flights. For only $99, you get to go up in the airplane with an FAA-certified flight instructor and actually fly the plane yourself. It's a perfect way to see if flying is for you. And once you get that ultimate feeling of freedom, Ocala Aviation can train you to get your pilot's license. Ocala Aviation also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today, 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today, 861-7484. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus, DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Hi, I'm Big Daddy Don Garlitz asking you to support adoption by purchasing a Choose Life license plate from your county tag office. You know it costs a lot to give a child life. Many times a woman is forced to make a bad choice because of 